Hey guys, welcome back to Freak Motion. In today's video, we are going to create digital background but using the custom elements. You can use anything in place of these elements, alphabets, icons, emojis, anything you want. I am not going to use any third party plugins. So without wasting any more time, let's jump into the After Effects and let's get started. Alright, first create a basic composition. Size will be 1000 by 1000 and duration can be anything. Give it a name you like. First create a solid layer. Let's call it Fractal. Go to effects and presets and search for fractal. Change the contrast value to 350 and change the size to 300. Also change the complexity value to 1. Hold Alt plus click on the stopwatch icon to add an expression on the evaluation and type time multiplier 100. Now select the layer and pre-compose it. Let's call it placeholder because we can use this as a footage holder as well. After that apply mosaic effect on it. Change both blocks values to 50. Also check sharp colors. Now create another composition. Let's call it element. And change its size to 20 pixel by 20 pixel. Here we can put any element that we want. For now I am using text but you can use anything such as icons, emoji or anything you want. Change the scale value to 7 because our composition area is too small. Align it to the center. Now go to main composition and bring the element composition here. You can see how small our element is. First change the anchor point position to top left corner. Then align it to the top left corner as well. Now apply CC reptile effect on it. Change the expand right value to 980 and expand down value to 980 as well. By doing this, it will fill our whole composition. Let's place this at the bottom and change the track mat to alpha mat. Now on the placeholder composition, apply extract effect. Here change the black point value to 200. Now we need to make the different elements and replace them with our current element. Let's create 4 to 5 copies of the element by pressing Ctrl plus D. First select these two layers and press Ctrl plus D to make a duplicate. Maintain the placement of the layers like this. Now we need to replace the composition with the element 2 composition. For doing that, first select both composition, then hold Alt or Command on your keyboard, then select the element 2 composition and just drag and drop it on the composition. Just like this. Now you can change the element to a different element and it will not affect our previous element. Let's go to our main composition. Here we can see it's overlapped with our previous element. To fix this, go to placeholder layer and change the black point value to 150 and change the white point value to 199 and also make sure you change the track mat layer to the top placeholder layer basically for each element we are using different placeholder with the different white point values so every time when you put new element make sure to change the track mat of the layer let's do the same for couple of more times duplicate the layers Replace the element 2 with the element 3. Change the element to a different one. Go to main composition and change the track mat to the top placeholder. Also change the extract value to top placeholder layer. For this black point value will be 100 and white point value will be 149. You can see we are getting our background. Let's do that same again. I am fast forwarding this process so that you guys don't get bored. I keep 4 elements but you can use more if you want. After that select all this composition and pre-compose it. Give it a name you like. Let's add a solid layer for the background.
you can add glow effect on it to make it look more catchy. And you can change the element color if you wish to. Let's make 4 copies of the final composition by pressing Ctrl plus D. Convert all of them to 3D layers. Let's hide top 3 layers for now. We will work on them one by one. Now open position and rotation property. Change Y axis rotation value to minus 90 degree. And change the position something like this. For this layer, change the Y axis rotation value to 90 degree. And change its position something like this. For this layer, change X axis value to minus 90 degree. And change the position something like this. Try to match these edges as much as you can. For this layer, change X axis rotation value to 90 degree. And change the position something like this. Now apply motion tile effect on the composition and increase the output with value near about 700. Apply the same effect on this composition as well and also increase the same output with value. I am not using the same values but for perfect result you can increase the same amount of values to each side. Apply the same effect on the other two composition as well but for those two increase the output height value not the width value. By doing this, it will look like a funnel background as well. Let's apply fill effect on the background layer so that we can change the color easily. Also add a camera layer here. I am using a 50mm default camera layer. Open the camera layer, go to camera option. Now first decrease the zoom value. Then add a keyframe on it on the first frame. Then go to end of the keyframe and increase the value of it. So that it will look like a digital funnel. Let's change the color of the element to this nice green color to give it a futuristic look. As I say, you can use anything inside of the element composition as well as in the placeholder composition. So don't forget to try new things with it. So that's all for today. I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next video. Till then have fun and stay safe.